Hello and welcome back to another Warfork dual casting from me, MX Cam. We're going to be watching Concon versus Duma on DM5 right now. This was just a pickup game or a pub game that I found online the other day. Watched it. The game was pretty close and pretty good action. So decided to download it. Going into the first fight, and Duma is going to take the Mega and the first frag. And now going to be on the move around, trying to pick up the red, but not going to find it. Concon managed to grab that just a second ago after losing the fight for the Mega. Sweep back around. Now both players looking for weaponry, waiting for the next items to come up. Looking at trying to take some pot shots, but not pushing too hard for them particularly. Both players now waiting. Neither player wanting to go. All the items that can be up are up. I have a feeling that Duma may not be familiar with the uh, with the timing on this Mega. Timing on this Mega is, of course, 20 seconds after the player who grabbed it drops below 100 health. So that could be pretty instant. If you just get hit straight in the face with a rocket, that could take a while like it just did. All items coming up again and almost being gone by the time the next one comes round. So I will use this slightly slow time in the game to just tell you, please send me some demos. I need them. Good dual demos, good pickup demos. Pubs, a bit hard to cast usually, but I am always happy to get demos from people. Send them over on Discord. Uh, add me on Steam because I don't always check Discord. Or just find me in game and tell me, and I will go and check it and download them. I try to cast pretty much everything I get and then just upload the good games. Uh, don't be embarrassed if I say your game wasn't good. It's probably just because I cocked up the casting. Duma now floating around the map. We've gone a while without a frag, but we've had a good bit of action. Duma playing a very, very relaxed game. It seems to know the movement. Potentially a Quake Live player. Has a good understanding of the movement. Able to just about grasp the dodging mechanic, but not using it to its full advantage. And certainly not quite in the position to grab any major frags from it. Concon tying it up. I'm going to switch over to that POV now. Floating around the map again. Both players, I think, taking the same speed around the map and going the same route. It's going to be difficult for each of them to catch each other, except for times like this, where the path sort of does a backtrack slightly as they go through that teleporter and it loops them back around to where they were previously. Mega health is gone. Red should be coming up in a second. And there it is, red. Server lagging a little bit there. If you ever think your server was lagging, note down the time. Go back onto the demo. Download the demo after the game. Go back onto it and see if the server lagged out. Pretty simple way to tell. Absolutely amazing feature of Warfork that the uh, you can just download demos. Brilliant. Server demos are so hard to come by in other games. And they're wonderful. Absolutely beautiful shot there from ConCon. And then he gets another one. He's managed to get two frags in very quick succession. Now can he capitalise entirely on this? And will Duma be able to come back? He's going well. He's playing quite a passive game though. It's quite difficult to play when you play so passive. Konkon killing himself there with the rocket. But I'm going to give that to Duma since he would have killed him anyway. He was only on a few health when he went down to his own rocket. Duma was putting in a good amount of LG right onto him. Again, Duma just sort of floating around the map. These a lot of new players to this game that have played other games like it, like Quake Live, Zonotic, and of course Warsaw itself, but less that one. Um, who just don't quite understand the game. One health left. Duma pushing in. Not quite sure he checked his own health there. That's a pretty pretty big mistake but always recoverable absolutely amazing rail shots coming out from both these players they're hitting the shots and it's making for great fights the tactics 
sometimes you can get amazing games where the tactics aren't perfect. And sometimes if the tactics are too perfect, it makes the game a bit boring. But these guys going in for shots, going in for the classy plays, and making an accuracy right for that kill. Kong Kong now pushing, trying to make a kill. He pushes a little bit too hard, but he manages to get away with it. I think he's got Duma on the ropes here. After grabbing that red, Duma's going to want to get out. Get away, grab that mega health, actually. So that's going to be very good for Duma. He's on very high health. One rail for Kong Kong. He's hitting a lot of shots. He's moving around this map very fluidly as well. He seems to be getting the hang of the movement, the hang of bouncing just any time you can. Out of rockets, though, ammo management extremely important in this game. Going to grab the red. It's not always about grabbing major items, though. Major items help you a lot, but if you're in the wrong position to grab them, you can be killed. And on this map, the major items are pretty good choke points. A horrible open position for that mega health. And for the red armour, a little trap where a player could easily come around just after you, even if they just get the timing slightly wrong. It's an interesting place to put it because you can be punished for just getting the timing right rather than five seconds later and your opponent coming around. But it's always important to be vigilant when you're doing this. Duma plays it perfectly, able to drop onto it and Sorry. grabs the kill. Seven to two, the current scoreline. We've only got three minutes left to go. Duma should be able to bring it back. Three minutes 15 is a it's a right amount of time to be able to bring five frags back. And we see, saw the game go for about three minutes with only one frag. And then we saw the game go for about a minute and five frags happened. Or quite a lot at least. Missing that. Completely slows you down, completely messes you up when you miss a small item like that. But Kong Kong with the Mega. Both players going to make a mutual frag. I'm going to swap over here to Kong Kong. But I'm actually going to go back over to Duma. Kong Kong does get a kill there, but we will go back over to Duma just for a second. I think he should go down just now. He's not able to hit any shots. He does get one in the end. Kong Kong now 10 to 3. I think it's running away from Duma ever so slightly here, but it's still possible. It's still doable. Kong Kong going to have to be very careful pushing back. Neither player can quite land the shots. Kong Kong certainly can't. He's going to have to duck out. He's going to duck out. He knows he's got the frag advantage. He can make the plays. They can get away. Whereas Duma has to push. They have to push. They have to try and make these shots. Duma pushing in hard. He's going to try and take it. He just can't connect the final killing blow. Getting Kong Kong down to such low HP. Incredibly, he hasn't quite made another kill yet out of all of these offensives. Kong Kong grabbing the items, scooping the items, gets another kill. One more second and there's the red. Do Kong Kong just goes above Duma. Now we're going to just spam that plasma, push in, gets an amazing frag. These frags, they're coming out from Kong Kong. They're very tactical, they're clinical. They're very clean. He's taking very little damage, even missing a few of the shots. Game over. And there's the game. Con Con, 13 to 3. Quite a close game despite the large frag difference though, actually. It is quite incredible how close you can have a game even with that sort of frag difference. Very good game though.